What is up folks? Welcome to day number 29 of Autodesk Fusion. So today specifically I'm going to talk about uh, fillet versus uh, chamfer and uh, what we're going to do with those things and really unpack them and also the dangers of press pull. Now press pull sounds like a really cool fun button but you can very quickly mess up your geometry and I'm just going to show you by doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create two identical uh, rectangular prisms and I'm just going to create a quick sketch I'm just going to do two rectangles and we're going to call them uh, or sorry, two squares here and we're going to make them about the same and then we're going to go ahead and just extrude both of these out now when you do uh, a fillet or a chamfer I'm not even sure how you pronounce chamfer I'm pretty sure that's it if I'm, if I'm wrong let me know anyways um, so when you do a fillet, which we've done a couple different times, it will round off those edges. So I'm going to click all of these top edges and I'm just going to pull that in inwards. And what it does is just rounds it off. Now you can fillet a corner, you can fillet a whole object uh, until you are satisfied with rounding it off however you'd like. What you can do with a chamfer though is you can chamfer corners like we did on the other ones but instead of rounding them off when you bring it in it just does a straight bevel uh, depending on what you're looking for uh, depending on you can use chamfer or uh, fillet now I'm going to try to use fillet I fill it I'm going to try to use chamfer on the whole body and you notice it won't let me chamfer the whole body you can fill it a whole body but you can't chamfer a whole body you can only chamfer angles and that's because what it is is it's cutting a material and cutting a specific angle out of it. Now what I'm going to do is talk about the dangers of press pull. Now I wouldn't really recommend press pull because depending upon where you click Fusion will try to predict what's going on. So I'm going to go over here and click press pull and just click on this face. What it's automatically done for me is it's predicted what I want to do with it and it's going to say offset face. It's pulling that whole geometry with it. And if I hit OK, then I'm going to start to imagine students um, are going to be like, oh no, I don't know what I did. How do I, get, how do I go back? And they're going to try to press pull again, click on that face again, and then try to bring it inwards. And like they're just going to be running into a lot of dangers. So with just two commands, I've completely uh, messed up my geometry. So what I'm going to do is uh, say press pull is something that if you have time, you're welcome to try to master it. But depending upon where you click and how you click, uh, it will change its command automatically for you. And so I really would not recommend press pull until you've mastered all of the other uh, specific commands within Fusion because it automatically picks the one you're looking for based off what you're trying to do. Alrighty guys, that'll be it for this video and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.